Good morning, Marblehead. How are we doing today? So today is uh, the first first real week of June, and we've left May in our rearview mirror. So here's what we got going on. I wanted to share with you briefly uh, the the state of real estate in Marblehead in comparison to Orange County, San Clemente, Orange County, San Clemente, and Marblehead. I uh, wanted to give you folks kind of a macro level of what's going on in the marketplace. In, in our beautiful community and how it's affecting the rest of our community in general. So let's start with some really good news. On any given day, uh, Marblehead over a period of 2019, 2020, and 2021 has continually led the pack as it pertains to, uh, or at least this is how we compare in our average sales prices. So as you can see, pretty, pretty good numbers right there showing that Living in San Clemente and living in Marblehead specifically is is definitely a plus, both from an investment perspective and other things that we love, lifestyle and so forth. Uh, but the bottom line is that we're on an average of about one three five two five hundred. And by the way, this takes in, Marblehead takes into consideration also coastal Marblehead down uh, across from the outlets. But at the end of the day, this is not only almost inaccurate because the baseline in Marblehead. And I'll show you folks a little more about what I'm talking about deeper into Marblehead as a micro level, uh, we're already set a baseline at one five and above, one five and above. So this one four for all intents and purposes is really, let's call it a baseline, but a little less than the baseline of what Marblehead is actually commanding out there on the street as we speak. So this is right now the sales average that's going on in Marblehead against San Clemente and against Orange County. Let's look at listings though. So this is the area that we're lacking in, or this is, let's call it the area in which we are really not ahead of the pack, but that's kind of good for us. And why? Because there's there's a huge demand out there, as you all know, buyers who want to live in our areas, but we are basically not putting out a lot of inventory, which in essence creates a positive thing for us. We can command the, the highest price points we want to command, aspirational pricing. Like I said, we're already at a baseline of one five and above. And if you have views and so forth, you're already tapping the one sevens, one eights, possibly one nines, or for that matter, twos in some of the bigger properties in Marblehead with views and so forth. So once again, we're at, in comparison, we're at about nine properties that just came out as new listings, which by the way, is an increase of last month. Last month, we were at only Three. So another another dynamic that's going around is that we're also seeing a lot more people getting off the fence and saying, you know what, maybe this is time to take advantage of the market and get out there and, you know, capitalize on, on this crazy seller's market. The active listings, again, nine. So solid pending sales. These are homes that are actually so watch out of nine active listings, four have already gone bye bye and five are already in process of going bye bye also and, 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 and just moving on to bigger and better things and you have uh, nine new new uh, neighbors coming into town. Of closed sales, again, two closed sales have gone. Now, mind you, again, the number's off a little bit only because the, the pendings is the other two and so forth, but closed sale. Total closed sales right now is four for them. And again, representative, really low representation. But again, this is to our benefit as it pertains to uh, getting aspirational pricing or getting a higher bang for our buck in terms of selling the properties. Closed volume as a total in dollar volume represent about 5,410,000. Again, do the math on that. Divide that 5 million by the four that have closed and it should give you an indication of what, what kind of numbers we're sitting on. Days on market, again, the fastest, the moment we put this house on the market in Marblehead, it's gone in two days. That's the average days on market right now. Month supply, again, very little supply, 1.4 of it. In that area, we're kind of the same. It's just a very slow process right now of supply of properties that can sell. Price per square foot, again, there, quote unquote, we may not be leading the pack, but we really are in marble. And you'll see in a moment when I share with you, we're more in the 596, some even tapping 600 price per square foot. But overall contrast, the average is about this right here. Percentage of last list price, percentage of original price, same numbers. Here's what really you need to be looking at is this 107. What this is saying is that our properties are going 7% above list price, 7% above list price. 
In some cases, that has to do with either the strategy of the, of the, of the given realtor who turns around and says, well, let's list it low and, get, and go high. Or in some cases right now, it's just we're listing here, but because of the multiple offers and the huge demand of buyers to live in our community, we're selling properties at 7% above list price. That's a really, that's a phenomenal indicator of how different this economy is right now in this seller's marketplace. That's happening obviously across the board through Orange County and San Clemente, but especially in Marblehead. So again, exciting news for us as in general. All righty. So there it is. That is the big picture view of what's going on. The only other thing I wanted to share with you really quick is what's going on right now in the big picture of properties. This is a property I have right down on Coastal 214 via Pamplona, selling at 2.4 in comparison to what the rest of the world is looking like. But here's what I really want to share with you is the average pricing. So this, you know, we have two withdrawns. By the way, the activity right now is two withdrawn properties, 20 closed properties, three that are pending, one that's active under contract, and two that are canceled, and three that are active. So if this shows you anything right now, look at the actives, by the way. The actives is on an average is 2.8 with the lowest being 1.4. So again, the point I was trying to make earlier, if the lowest in general is 1.4, can you imagine what Marblehead? Marblehead is already kicking it up at 1.5 and above without even batting an eye. I can totally assure you of that. But let's look at what the average is saying right now here as it pertains to the closed activity, which is precedence. Okay, on any given day, here's our average, 1.8. With a 589 per square foot, average days on market, 26. Credible number to look at. The other thing we want to look at really quick is the days on market overall, 26 days on market. Properties are selling within 99% of list price. Mind you, this is all of what has actively closed and sold right now in Marblehead. But the reality is that when I mi micro into Marblehead proper, into us up here on the other side of Coastal, uh, we're at about 107 102 of list price. Another critical thing to look at is what we call the online valuations. Online valuations should be taken with a grain of salt. Seriously, they are not mostly 85% of the time, they're not accurate. But the one thing you need to understand is this is the perception that becomes a reality to many homeowners or home buyers for that matter, home buyers especially. They are validating the fact that our prices are there. On any given day, this is what, what they've averaged about, about $1,659,000 compared to actual MLS prices. Um, let's talk about the actual closed properties. And I want to share a, a, an interesting dynamic because you need to understand this and see the value of these valuations, even though they're wrong, but the value to us when we're out there. This property closed via Safiro closed at 1288 Zestimate saying it's it's valued at one three six four. This is a perception. So when people start to look at Via Safiro, they start, they start to look at Marblehead, and they look at Via Aguila, and they look at another Via Safiro, Via Mero, and they're seeing on any given day uh, a valuations higher than what they sold for. They're going to see this place as a great investment. Here's Kaya J that that really led the pack at breaking the ceiling of one five because it started out at one four. Nine zero, or I'm sorry, it started at uh, one three, I believe, and it sold for one five. It sold for one four nine zero again, making it the value point of one five six eight. So, at the end of the day, these averages right here and what they're saying our properties are worth, what the online valuations are saying, that's huge. That says a lot for that. That really spells a lot to the people out there in the world that are thinking about buying. All righty, folks, I thank you so much for your time. Excuse my uh, my hemming and my homing sometimes. Uh, <laughs> uh, have a great weekend. Uh, by the way, you might want to, if you want to conduct a CMA, if you want me to actually look and drill down to specifically how much money you're going to capitalize on in this crazy market, call me, 949-241-6332. You can schedule a CMA uh, a comparable market analysis meeting about 15, 20 minutes at your place to take a look at the property. Real simple. Also, Father's Day is coming. Father's Day is coming. Okay. Some of us, you know, we get thrown to the side. Mothers are more important in the, in the overall. And but fathers are too. So don't forget us. Um, I've I've done a nice little thing. I've contributed a $50 gift certificate to Asada. So take dad to dinner. You can register down below. Just click down below, register, and uh, and get that going. All righty, folks. 
Hope, have a great weekend. And I look to see you in one month from now in July when we see some more beautiful activity in Marblehead. Have a great weekend. Take care.